Today we've got a fun iron comparison. We've got the TaylorMade P790 and the Titleist T200. Thomas gets some shots. We're gonna do a deep dive in comparison between the two. Also, if you like this video, first of all, like it on YouTube, drop a comment, tell us which one you prefer yourself, and then subscribe to the channel. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf. Today I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter at Second Swing. And today we've got a fun iron comparison of new irons here released kind of in the fall portion of 2021. TaylorMade P790 and the Titleist T200, both kind of in that player's distance category that is becoming more and more popular, Thomas. Um, we've done our own quick review on these. The Swing Report editions are out on our channel. You can check those out to learn all the key details on these irons, but now it's time to put them to the test against one another. So. Thomas, you've kind of, you've seen both of them. You've got the look and you've also tested both of them as well. Um, what do you think we're gonna see today? Yeah, so these are probably the two closest comparison this fall when it comes yeah. to irons. You know, TaylorMade just came out with the P790s. Titleist came out with the T200s. They're both hollow body designs. So mm -hmm. what I'm going to expect is going to be, yeah, a little bit of forgiveness, um, some distance, probably a little bit less spin that I normally see with, with my typical irons but probably more explosive distance. These are players distance oh, yeah. irons as we talk about, but I'm curious to see how they perform head to head because mm -hmm. this is probably one of those videos that a lot of golfers out there are really cu curious about. I know we've already gotten a few comments asking for this comparison in particular, so we're gonna show it to you today. Now in terms of the stock shaft here, well, I shouldn't say stock shaft, the shaft we're gonna use today to compare these, looks like we got the same one here. Yeah, so Project X LZ 6.5, that is the golf shaft that I am playing. Mm -hmm. I actually took the time to measure the length on both of them. Both of them are standard length at 37 inches. Okay. I also kind of checked the swing weight out and, and the actual head weight of them. I did notice that the P790 just came in just a little bit heavier overall with regards to total mass and okay. weight, but they're very, very close. They're obviously the same length. You know, head design, offset, similar. I think the P790's got just a little bit more offset on it. It's a little bit larger profile looking down at it. Well, the T200 looks kind of like the T100, it is. but mm -hmm. with just a little bit more forgiveness package behind it. Yeah, Thomas, definitely they look a little bit different, I can tell from my own vantage point. Um, but also one thing we didn't touch on, loft. I know a lot of golfers uh, make sure to um, you know, pay attention to that when they're looking at irons. Are there any differences here? Really very subtle. So P790 is 30 and a half. The T200, the 2021 model is 31. So it's just a little bit actually weaker than their previous mm -hmm. model there too. So. We're talking half a degree. I'm gonna expect the numbers to be very, very similar. All right, you ready to hit some shots? Let's compare them. Kind of high, wasn't it? That was 117 feet in the air. That that's that's fun probably 6, just 000. the wind was just... Spun 6,000. The wind was probably just exaggerating it. It's a nice and straight shot. Mm -hmm. Working that baby draw. Yep. Straight for me is like a little draw. <laughs> right, right. Which, uh, yeah, I think people watching the channel know that by now. Right. Another nice swing there. So that so far, three swings went in. I th said this in the swing report too. T200s definitely sound pretty loud off mm -hmm. the face. Yeah, yeah. So that's I'm definitely something. I mean, I, I even caught my eye as you were warming up here earlier, and I. You hit a shot and I'm like, that's gotta be the T200, you know? Yep. It just has a kind of a distinct sound, which isn't a bad thing. It's just a, you know, a difference in the, uh, the audio, I guess, at impact. Yeah, I'm curious how it compares to the P790 when we hit that directly mm -hmm. after hitting T200s. Right. That was a good swing too. Yeah, I feel like the last three swings were really solid there. Let's hit one more and then you jump to the P790. We've got two right on top of each other here on the dispersion. It might have been possibly just a little bit more ground, but I feel like I definitely got away with it. Mm -hmm. You definitely did. I mean, it's still out there, you know, compared, compared to the other ones, it's right out there with them. Um, so you've got, let's see here, I'll bring up this table here. Of the five shots, on average, 91.1 club speed. Spin was just over 6,000 at 63.63. .63. Carry 186.2, total 192.2. .2. 
and then I want to bring up this map as well because on the map the distance consistency is very very good as we talked about on the carry numbers then you actually have two I'm going to show you this because you got two there's actually two balls right there right on right, top and they're right on the line on too, the line on the center yeah. line so T200 not bad there on five swings all right well that's uh see how the P790 now compares okay Definitely a different sound. Mm -hmm. That shot shape is still the same. That might have been just a little thin. Let's spin more. A little bit. Yeah. I mean, like 150 RPM ish. Yeah. That was maybe a groove too low. Oh boy. Sorry. Clearly, you're upset with that <laughs> shot. Right. And uh, it's still carried as far or farther than your kind of two lowest carry distance in the T200. So interesting there on the P790. Yeah, that felt like I hit that about 160 yards. <laughs> <laughs> A little better swing. Okay, so Thomas, now three shots in with P790. Just wanted to get your thoughts on feel. I know you often say sound is feel. Mm -hmm. um, so differences between T200 and P790 in terms of feel? Yes, yeah, so the P790, it it sounds a little hollow or feel off the face, while the P, the T200 sounds loud and very solid. Okay. It's kind of the, the feel. Okay. So coming through the bowl, it feels possibly just a touch clickier okay. with, the, with the P790. Uh, it definitely seems a little bit more on the forgiveness side with regards to yeah. feel, though. Yeah. I mean, uh, especially after that second shot there. Right. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's it's a little bit different material feeling off the face for mm -hmm. sure. I mean, the T two hundred, it's it's loud. Yeah, it's, it's it kind of noticeable. Well, this just doesn't seem as loud. That one is much higher than the last one. You right. Had. I wonder if that's the wind that got that, or just. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it's certainly the furthest one you've hit. Yeah. A lot lower spin than any really any of the other shots. Yeah. That one looked like it's launched just a little bit higher and just kind of stayed up in the air. Mm -hmm. Keep going. That one sounded like you flushed it. That was a pretty good swing too. All right, quick synopsis of these numbers. After five swings, um, slightly faster club speed with P790, one mile an hour faster. Okay. Um, spin dropped by about 300 RPM with the P790, and carry distance was about five yards further with the P790, total seven yards further. So, okay. you know, with a lot difference of, what, a half a degree, maybe you would expect that, um, but we've also known in the past that P790 with the 2017 and 2019 models has been kind of a lower spinning and really an explosive golf club. It has, uh, and it's kind of what I was going to expect right off the bat is a little less spin. I think the first shot I hit with the P790, I got a little bit thin, mm -hmm. and the spin rate was fairly high. But after that, I think the last last few, sh especially the last three shots, probably more validate the numbers yeah. a little bit more. Yep, I mean, the first one was over 6,500. The rest, you know, 6,200 even was actually the highest. And otherwise, there was 57, 56, and then right at 6,000. So, okay. Um, that was definitely the lower spinning club, because the T200, you actually had a couple, you had one that was actually 6,900, um, which got way up there, and then you yep. had, Everything was over 6,000 with the T200, so. Okay, yeah, I mean, half a degree aloft, you possibly would expect, you know, mm -hmm. a couple hundred RPMs of spin less mm -hmm. with, with that particular club. But like you mentioned, P790, we have just noticed previous models, explosive distance is what yeah. we kind of expect out of the P790, especially after the last two generations. For sure, for sure. Well, let's, uh, let's hit a few more with each one here. We'll solidify the data and draw some more conclusions. All right, let's hit five more with each one. Oh boy, that's loud. I feel like I hit that one really good. I mean, according to what we're seeing, it's right on line. It was dead straight from what I could see. Yeah, it's like an echoey sound. Like you can, like you like hear it throughout the driving range almost. Right. I mean, we're kind of in like a surround, we're surrounded by trees back here, so we can kind of, it can bounce off of all everything surrounding us here, but. It's definitely different than the P790. Hmm. 
Well, that one might go a little further because I pulled it. So maybe this is just, uh, an, this is more of a theory and hypothesis just by looking at the shots. It seems like your draw is in more effect with the T200. Okay. Um, after, you know, obviously, what, eight, seven shots with the T200. Yeah, it's just the last couple swings definitely wanted to curve yeah. a little bit more. And we'll look me. at the curve numbers and everything at yep. the end, but interesting there. That's just a quick take I had. Just had to prove you wrong. <laughs> yeah, and that one kind of stays out. <laughs> Well, as soon as I talk about your draw, drawing more with the T200, you have two that are kind of left out to the right. That was user error on that which, last one. The last one, okay, user yep. error there. Yep. Um, all right, so interesting there. You had, I think you hit some, gained some more distance on average, I think, with those five with the T200, but five more with P790, we'll see uh, you know, if I can keep up. Yeah, that's why I wanted to circle back a little bit, just in case I was swinging a little faster with, say, the P790 versus T200. Yeah, for sure. Give some more more data to, to talk about. Mm -hmm. That was so straight. Yeah, that is right on top of the target. Wow. It's also almost your furthest one of the day. That was, that was a really good swing. That was a little miss hit again. That's a bad swing. Interesting. See how that shakes out on track, man. Because the last time you really miss hit one P790, it was farther than most of the T200 shots. So, okay, so that one is, yeah, it spun barely over 6,000. Okay. It still carried 188. So, yeah. I think that might be more wind that got that one, but. I think so. The wind did kind of pick up as you hit that one. Yeah. Uh, you see on yeah on the trackman here, it kind of corrected with the normalization on, so that it pretty straight. Not as far yeah. left. It's it it drew left of the center line, okay. but not as far as we saw with the wind here. Not quite a clean strike for the last swing here. Right. But it looks like it's, I mean, yeah. I mean, you got a pretty darn good dispersion circle here for the P790, so I'll. Uh, I feel like I definitely hit a couple more heavy with the P790 mm -hmm. than I did with the T200. You did. And even with that said, you, your distance, you know, you gained almost five yards carry with the P790 when it was all said and done. Okay. Total distance with the P790 on average, 199.7. And then uh, I'll bring this up over here, the map on the left, numbers on the right. Um, and you can see, so actually your dispersion pretty, I mean, I would say better with P790. Um, just a little bit, you know, from left to right anyway, it's a smaller oval. Okay. It, T200 might have the edge in terms of distance consistency, the kind of the north to south of you. Okay. Um, but after hitting, now 10 with each one, Thomas. Um, you've gotten the, you know, the look, the feel. You've seen the ball fly. What do you think um, about these two irons and the advantages, disadvantages of each one? Yeah, I mean, they're both forgiving. I mean, I feel like the T P790 is just a little bit more on the forgiving side. They're both going to spin a little bit less than mm -hmm. your more cavity back irons, yeah, essentially. Yeah. Uh, There's a little bit more forgiveness. For me, looking down at it, I personally do like the look of the T200 better because I'm just used to like the T100, yeah. T200 look. A little it's bit a little more. It's a little bit more compact. More not compact as, look. You know, the top line's thinner. But there's just something to be said about that little bit of added forgiveness that we were getting with the um, the P790. And mm -hmm. even though you know I play professionally, I if I didn't practice much. These I could definitely put these in the bag. I could yeah. definitely get a little look on them, and I think I've seen I've seen that and I've said that in previous videos on P790 is like they've just always kind of Im impressed me. Um, they feel good off the face, mm -hmm. uh, a little quieter than the T200 was. Yeah. Um, looking down at yes, is a little bit more offset. Yes, the profile is a little bit little bit larger, but I could absolutely get all of that if I'm getting the performance. 
I feel like there was like three or four shafts that flew very, very straight with the P790. I think you said those were maybe going a little bit further as well. Yeah, yeah, you actually your four further shots of the day um, were all P790 shots and they were all over 200 yards total and they're all carrying over basically 195 yards. Uh, so, you know, your furthest shot total with the T200 was 198.5 and you had four with P790 that were over 200. Okay. And all four of those really were within about five-ish yards of the center line. So straight ball flight, but also piercing through the wind with that kind of lower spin, you know, what, four to 500 RPM lower than the T200. Yep. Um, I think there's a reason that Titleist and TaylorMade are offering these clubs in utility irons as well. Um, you know, because you talked about being a better player and kind of look the look of them. Um, they can really work as a longer iron where you get that added forgiveness out of both of them, um, but also you can still shape the shot you want. Yeah, I mean, I've played P793 iron as my as my driving iron utility, yeah. so I, I get that. I can completely get that. Yeah. And um, the UDIs are also great as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm excited to see. I haven't had the chance to hit the T200 and the 2, 3, or 4 iron yet. Yeah. But they'll be a little bit more compact than, say, the U505 is going to be, um, yeah. which would be a little, maybe slightly more appealing on, on the eye and maybe a little more lower ball, ball flight trajectory just as a kind of fairway finder. Um, but they're both very good. I'm curious to see just kind of numbers, just a little bit of a, a little bit of a breakdown. Uh, I feel like my club speed was pretty close overall between the two of mm -hmm. them. It was. So I'm just curious. I mean, is there any subtle differences there, like ball speed numbers? What, what mm -hmm. are we looking at with ball speed? Yeah. So, and as we know, P790, that's been a hot club uh, off the face for a long time. Uh, club speed only just 0.2 mile an hour faster the P790. Okay, so, so essentially minimal, the yeah. same. Yep. Um, but ball speed was two miles, well, a mile and a half uh, per hour faster with the P790. Okay, well, the first thing I revert back to is loft. Like, half a degree strong, I'd expect just a little bit more speed. Yeah. But that's outperforming what I would expect um, with a little bit more. I usually say every degree of loft is about two, two, uh, two three yards further. Okay. Um, and we'll notice that we're going a little bit further because that's a little bit further, yeah. Speed. Yep. Because you're kind of that spin's got kind of staying a little bit down too. You got you know it's almost a 500 RPM difference. Yep, 500 um, RPMs for half a degree loft. 400 is, RPM difference. So yeah, 400 RPMs for half a degree loft is is showing that that club does spin a little bit less overall. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, based on the design and um, yep. the speed foam air in there, which we talked about a little bit lighter than the speed foam that was in the prior P790 models. Mm -hmm. um, in the swing report, we talked about how that has changed things. They've able to thin out that design a little bit. Um, while also maintaining that forgiveness, adding some extra weight to the perimeter. And you, you saw the forgiveness firsthand today in a couple of those shots where you maybe caught them a little fat. You gotta also remember it's not always about distance and ball speed, it's about consistency as well. Exactly. Um, and some players do need a little bit more spin. So if you're comparing the two of them, yeah, yeah. what we're seeing here is T200 just spins just a little bit more than the P790. So if you're a player that needs more spin, T200 might be a better option for yeah. you. Yeah, oh absolutely, that's one thing spin, to consider. Mm -hmm. Obviously P790. Right, especially yeah. with iron, that's one thing to consider. One other thing with, with driver, you know, if you're trying to hit the ball further, lower spin with somebody with a fast uh, swing speed, you know, for sure. But irons are different, it's, uh, it's about precision, it's about consistency, it's about finding the flag, and that doesn't always mean just hitting it farther. So yep. key point to remember there, and it's, that's why it's important to come in for a fitting, because um, our fitters can dial you in on the spin that you need, if you need more or less, and then which of these clubs is going to be best for you overall. But um, let's finish up uh, landing angle, and then I mentioned you mentioned curve, so mm -hmm. height and landing angle, and yeah, yeah. So we'll look at landing angle, 47.6 P790, 50.1 with the T200. Okay, so that's just the spin kind of doing yeah. it, doing its yeah. job there. Do a little it's bit, and a little you have also eight feet higher on average with the T200. Again, loft is going to play a factor into that. Yep. Let me add on here the curve quick. So. On curve, on, wow, this is actually fascinating. Uh, on average, P790, 39 feet to the left. T200, 38 feet to the left. There you go. It's pretty similar. So yeah, I mean, that's, uh, that's mirroring each other. And then the deviation, um, plus or minus 18, plus or minus 20. Okay. So I mean, it's so. your, your shot shape is pretty consistent with both clubs, which yep. I think is a good thing. It's good to, you know, you're hitting the shot that you want to, and you're not getting anything crazy unexpected from either one. I was getting my little draw that I like to play out of the club exactly what I want, regardless of whether it's T200 or if it's P790. Yeah, absolutely. So I mean, differences here, a little bit lower spin P790, it's gonna go a little bit further. Then um, you mentioned, maybe mentioned a little bit more forgiveness potentially. T200, probably high launch, more height, more spin, not quite as far, um, but I think there's, in, the, I think in terms of the appearance, a little bit 
slimmer profile on the T200 if you're a golfer that likes that as well. So yep. I think um, finally, just you know, the important thing is to come in and try them out yourself. Come in a second swing and do it, do a fitting and compare these two models if you're looking at uh, distance players iron category because. Mm -hmm. That's the most important. Everyone is going to be different the way they deliver exactly. the club. Every swing is different. So we'll get you dialed in. Exactly. Well, golfers, first of all, if you uh, like the content today, please, again, subscribe to our channel. And uh, leave a comment with you know, how you feel about these irons. Which, uh, you know, which club do you like better out of the two? Um, and then like the video as well. And then, of course, if you are interested in one of these clubs, schedule a fitting uh, with one of our master fitters at Second Swing um, in any of our five-store locations, or you can do an online fitting with our team as well. So, Thomas, thanks for hitting the shots today, providing your feedback. These are both some really, really good clubs. Yep, they're going to kill it in the fitting bay.